Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with today's tip, and this one is about airbrushing. Uh, in fact, this is the question I get asked most across the board. Um, specifically, what pressure should you be spraying at? The short answer is there's no one answer. Anybody who gives you a single number and says, oh, always spray at 16 PSI, uh, is probably doing you a disservice. The things that are going to affect your uh, spray pressure are the nozzle size, the type of needle, the material, the hose, the compressor. Um, a lot of things can make a difference. Uh, for instance, if I'm using uh, acrylic paint straight out of the bottle uh, and I put it into my brush, I'm probably going to use a 0.5 millimeter uh, nozzle. I'm probably going to up the pressure a little bit to help make sure that the material gets through. Same thing with metallics. Um, I do a lot of my airbrushing, of course, with the Dollar Rani inks. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you guys today. Let's switch over here to the split view. What I have here is a sheet of just standard art paper -da 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 -da, and an airbrush. So what I've done here is take the pressure, I put it way down low, and what I'm going to do is try to do some simple airbrushing. You can see how I've got nice hazy edges here, right? Well, I shouldn't say nice. I've got a big hazy edge there. This is me airbrushing at, looks like about 8 PSI, 10 PSI. Uh, want to dial it in on the compressor. Find the regulator on your compressor. Make sure that that is where you're adjusting the pressure. So spray, just air, no paint. Dial in the compressor. I'm going to turn this up. Again, same material, same brush, same hose. A bit more pressure. You see I get a much finer line out of this. Still some dialing in to do. Uh, another test to do. Give yourself a big dot from farther away. Look at the edges of that, see what kind of haze you're getting around it, and then come in and see if you can do a nice small circle right there in the middle. And as long as that is accurate, you're good to go. By the same token, if I bump this way up, now 40 PSI, or just shy of it anyway. You can see how much more material I'm getting out in a hurry, despite the fact that I'm barely pulling the needle back. Now I do get a nice crisp edge for the most part, at least uh, in places, uh, but yeah, it's still hazy, 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 hazy here. So right about here is what I'm looking for. Uh, in this case, uh, I dial it in, but keep in mind the different material, again, it's going to behave differently. So if I'm really working on a project where the quality of the line work especially matters, the detail work I'm doing in my airbrush matters, uh, I will test it with different materials before I move on. In this case, I've gone from a uh, Prussian blue to black, still in the Dollar Rowney line. Make sure I'm on camera here for you. Woo! Let's get some of that out. Still wet in there. Oh, still 40. Do, 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 do. That's about where it was for uh, this line here. So this time in the black, ooh, you can see that even at the same pressure that I had done this set of lines, it's coming out differently. So for the black, dial it down a bit. Nope, down's the wrong answer. Dial it up a bit. So it starts to get a little better up here. So getting better, but I would still dial that up. So that's the point being is that uh, when you're airbrushing, particularly if you want to uh, have a really crisp line, if you're looking for really crisp edges, don't stick to a single number. Test the pressure with the material you're working on. Different brushes are going to make a difference uh, if you're like me and you swap brushes on a regular basis. So I take my point .2 out of here and I pop my point .5 in. That means you might need to change the pressure again. Different nozzle size, different brush, different hose, lots of things can affect the rate at which or the pressure at which you need to be spraying. As always, thank you for watching. Thanks for your support. If you have a question that you'd like me to cover, drop a note. Let me know. It's Justin at SecretWeaponMiniatures.com. Thanks again, and happy hobbying.